Are you often wondering about the correct preposition after a basic verb? Are you uncertain whether you should say listen me or listen to me or buy to someone or buy from someone? Then join me in this lesson for a review of prepositions with some basic verbs. Hello and welcome everyone. This is Minu at AngloLink. Today we're going to review prepositions with some basic verbs such as listen, look, say, etc. And also look at some verbs that don't need a preposition. I'll give you a few tips before you do a gap filling exercise that will remind you of the correct prepositions. To make sure you always remember these, repeat the exercise several times until you get all the prepositions right each time. By the end of your practice, you will have built the necessary reflexes to always use the correct prepositions with these verbs. So, when you're ready, let's begin. Prepositions with basic verbs. At, to, for, from, about, into. Let's start with a few tips. The following verbs don't need a preposition. Tell or inform. Call, phone or ring. Answer. Discuss. And contact. Let's look at some examples. He told or informed me about the situation. You don't need the preposition to. He told or informed me. Please call or phone or ring your mother. The common mistake is putting the preposition to there. No need. Please call your mother. Let's look at the verb answer. She answered my questions, not she answered to my questions. She answered my questions. Let's look at discuss. Let's discuss the problem, not let's discuss about the problem. Let's discuss the problem. And finally, the common mistake with contact. I will contact him, not I will contact with him. I will contact him. OK, let's look at some other verbs. The following verbs appear both with and without a preposition. Ask, leave, pay, and meet. Let's look at how that works. For example, with ask, I asked him a question, not I asked a question to him. I asked him a question, but I asked him for help. Okay, let's look at leave. We left the hotel, but we left for the airport. Let's look at pay. She paid the bill, but she paid for the meal. And finally, with meet, she met him at a party, but she met with him to discuss the problem. And finally, there are verbs that lose the preposition if you change the word order. These are write, read, send, and teach. Let's have a look at examples. She wrote a letter to him, but if you put him first, you must drop the preposition. She wrote him a letter. Let's look at Send. She sent the letter to him, but she sent him the letter. The same with read. He read the letter to me, but he read me the letter. And finally, teach. Can you teach this to me? But can you teach me this? So, although these tips are useful, the real key to assimilation is oral repetition. So let's move on to the most important part of the lesson, which is the exercises. This is how you're going to do them. 
you're going to hear a sentence with a gap. You're going to complete it with an appropriate preposition, if necessary. And then you're going to hear the correct sentence and repeat the correct sentence. For example, you're going to see and hear she smiled her friend. You're going to choose your preposition she smiled at her friend. And then you're going to see and hear the correct preposition. She smiled at her friend. Make sure you repeat the correct sentence. Repeat the complete sentence. She smiled at her friend. Do all the exercises once and then come back and do them again several times until you can find the correct preposition every time without hesitation. Okay then, let's begin. Complete the following sentences using one of these prepositions. At, for, to, from, about, into, or no preposition. Number one. Look, this building. Look at this building. Number two. I asked an explanation. I asked for an explanation. Number three. I asked him to call me. I asked him to call me. Number four. I like listening music. I like listening to music. Number five. Everyone laughed the joke. Everyone laughed at the joke. Number six. They changed their dollars, pounds. They changed their dollars into pounds. Number seven. Please say hello, him. Please say hello to him. Number eight. Please tell him I said hello. Please tell him I said hello. Number nine. We buy different suppliers. We buy from different suppliers. Number ten. We only sell businesses. We only sell to businesses. Number 11. You must contact him as soon as possible. You must contact him as soon as possible. Number 12. We're waiting the results. We're waiting for the results. Number 13. She comes Egypt. She comes from Egypt. Number 14. Can I speak or talk you? Can I speak to you? Can I talk to you? Number 15. Let me think it. Let me think about it. Number 16. He's leaving Rome, London tonight.
He is leaving Rome for London tonight. Number 17. I don't know much science. I don't know much about science. Number 18. We arrived our destination. We arrived at our destination. Number 19. She paid parking. She paid for parking. Number 20. She paid the parking fee. She paid the parking fee. Number 21. I learned a lot, you. I learned a lot from you. Number 22. Can you translate this Japanese? Can you translate this into Japanese? Number 23. Can we talk our plans? Can we talk about our plans? Number 24. Can we discuss our plans? Can we discuss our plans? Number 25. They met each other on holiday. They met each other on holiday. Number 26. He wrote a letter, his boss. He wrote a letter to his boss. Number 27. They sent us a bill. They sent us a bill. Number 28. He divided the students three groups. He divided the students into three groups. Number 29. Please explain this, me. Please explain this to me. Number 30. Did you answer your emails? Did you answer your emails? Right then, that's the end of the exercises. As I said earlier, please make sure you repeat them several times until you can get the right preposition each time without hesitation. As you know, you can now go to our website, anglolink.com, for more lessons and exercises. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next lesson. Bye now.